firecrackers are a symbol of gaiety. In China, their land of birth, no festivity or celebration is complete without firecrackers. In ancient times, the Chinese burned bamboo on New Year's. The crackling noises were believed to frighten away evil spirits. Since the discovery of gunpowder during the Song Dynasty, explosives have been used in firecrackers. Firecrackers are roughly divided into three types, single explosion, double explosion, and multiple explosion. They are all made on the same principle. First, rough paper of straw fiber is cut to prepare for the containers of the explosives. The paper is carefully weighed to ensure the correct amount of explosiveness in the finished product. Although firecrackers are made of paper and gunpowder today, the Chinese still call them exploding bamboos. The containers for the explosives are made on a pulling bench, operated by hand. A skilled workman can produce several hundred tubes in one day on this bench. Paper is rolled around a stick of bamboo and pressed on the pulling bench. During the process, additional layers of paper are applied until the proper thickness is reached. Finally, the bamboo core is removed and the result is a hard, strong, hollow tube. The double explosion or heaven and earth firecracker, which explodes once on the ground and again in the sky, requires two fuses. An internal fuse is placed in the center of the paper container. Some dirt is then dropped into the firecracker to anchor the fuse and to separate the container into two compartments. The dirt is packed tightly by pounding. The firecrackers are then tied into a bundle and a piece of paper is pasted over the lower end. Holes are punctured to permit the filling of powder into the entire bundle in one operation. The powder, which is used in the lower half of the firecracker, is a mixture of potassium nitrate, sulfur and charcoal. The amount of explosive determines the height to which the firecrackers will shoot up. The more powder, naturally, the higher they'll go. After the excess powder is shaken off, the lower end of each firecracker is sealed by pressing together the paper rim. Then the firecrackers must be once again tied into a bundle and the same operations repeated in order that the upper halves may also be filled with explosives. Here the mixture is slightly different, consisting of potassium chlorate, sulfur and charcoal. This powder will be exploded by the internal fuse when the firecrackers reach midair. Dirt is pounded in to prevent leakage. After the firecrackers are completely filled, the upper ends are clamped together.
paper of various colors and designs are pasted on the outside for decorative effect. The designs often symbolize good luck or portray gods connected with festivals for which the firecrackers are made. A string is then tied around the indentations made by the clamps. To expedite the operation, the firecrackers are first tied in a chain and later separated. On each firecracker, a small hole is punctured to allow the insertion of the external fuse. This is the fuse which sets off the initial explosion on the ground. After the fuse is inserted, the ends of the paper tube are trimmed and the firecracker is completed. Now the finished product is packed and ready for the market. The heaven and earth firecracker is also known as the double kick. Chinese craftsmen also pride themselves on the making of fireworks. These larger cousins of the firecrackers are made for the eyes rather than the ears. When ignited, they explode into designs of infinite varieties. Some of the fanciest ones even illustrate legendary tales and portray immortal gods and fairies. Children all over the world like firecrackers and fireworks. In China, during the New Year Festival, the firecracker stores are stocked full to delight every whim and fancy. To every Chinese, the sound of the exploding bamboos means clearing away the past, scaring away the evil, and ushering in the new, the joyful, and the peaceful. <laughs> ¶¶